Hi, I'm Andrew at Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the Faultmatic 220 ACDC machine by Miller. Uh, so, in this video, we're going to answer some questions that we get, uh, mainly about the popular TIG AC output of this unit. Um, we get a lot of questions about it, and we just want to go over some stuff and discuss how this thing really does rock in the AC output. So, we're going to go up to TIG aluminum setting on our machine here, and it's going to tell us how to hook our TIG torch and our ground cable up. And then obviously we got our auto set feature here, and we can choose our tungsten size, 1 16th, 3 32nd, and then our material size all the way up to quarter inch. And then we can always turn that off and go into manual mode, and then our frequency. So a couple of the things that I wanted to talk about as far as we get a lot of questions about, and it is, what does this frequency mean? What does the balance mean? And what does high frequency over here mean? So high frequency on the right side is that when we have our foot pedal hooked up we can hit, we hit our foot pedal we send across the high frequency arc from the tungsten to the material and it jumps the arc across starting our arc and so we don't have to touch our tungsten to the workpiece to do lift arc which it does have that function lift arc but a high frequency start is very very popular because you don't mess up your tungsten you get better start quality you get longer tungsten life, um, and it's all wrapped up into this machine, and this is a great home hobbyist machine. People are always asking, well, I want to learn how to take weld aluminum. Well, this is perfect because we got high frequency start, and if you never take weld aluminum and you try to use lift arc, it's going to not go well. So high frequency start is awesome to have. Another thing about what does this frequency mean? So what I'm changing older machines and I'm going back a long ways you know back in the 60s 70s and 80s had a set frequency and it was 60 so it was taking 60 from the wall transferring it to your machine and giving you 60 cycles per second on your AC sine wave for welding aluminum so what this machine does is it shrinks that sine wave now so instead of 60 cycles a second we can ramp this thing all the way up to 150 cycles per second so we're, we're actually shrinking our arc cone when we go higher frequency and pro set on this unit is 120 and so what that's going to give you is a it's going to give you a softer arc um, you can turn it down right you can go down to 60 and that wide it's going to widen out your arc quite a bit dropping it to 60 but 120 it's perfect it's nice and soft um, now if you jump into miller's other higher end brand dynasties you can go up to 400. So we can really shrink that AC sine wave cycle down. And it's just driving more penetration, narrower arc, and uh, just all around different weldability with it. Um, not saying it's better, I'm just saying it's for different applications. But for this, 120 is perfect. And then to jump into our balance. So what does our balance mean? So on an AC sine wave, we got cleaning action and we got penetrating action. So the positive side of the wave is cleaning the negative side is penetrating. So we're controlling our balance on the negative side. So we want penetration, so, and we want to stay off the cleaning side as much as we can because it balls up our tungsten if we change our cleaning. So if we, let's see, we can bump that down, we can go to 60. So what it's gonna do, and you'll notice, your tungsten will get dirtier when you're welding AC output on aluminum. When you, and you turn this to 60. So pro set is 75. So we spend 25% of our time cleaning and 75% of our time penetrating the aluminum. So that's basically what, what it's changing there. I think we can go up to 80. Um, it's not, you're not getting any more benefit at going to 80. But if you do have dirtier aluminum, it is sometimes better to go down to 70, 65, 70, somewhere in there. So, it just depends on the quality of aluminum that we're welding, but mainly in a shop or if you're at home. I know when I'm at home welding aluminum, my stuff's pretty clean, pristine. Sometimes you get some old manifolds or some sort of uh, old gear boxing that's, you know, it's older aluminum, it's real dirty. You're going to want to bump that down so you get more cleaning action, but just remember it's going to mess up your tungsten. So those three things are really a lot of questions about. I hope I answered them all. If you got any more questions, just leave them in the comment. But then, Jumping into the TIG torch, what it comes with. So this is an A150. 
It's a 150 amp air cooled torch. It is, it is a WP17 uh, Series 3 consumable. We have, it's got your gas and power cord, one connection there. You can put a CK torch on this, um, and we'll link all that stuff down below too. If you want to change out torches, you can put fear uh, consumables on this with an adapter. We'll link all that down below as well, but basically it's just a 150 amp air-cooled tick torch. But what's different about this, it's got a through the gas port solenoid, so gas flows from the back of the machine through the front to our tick torch. Some other machines do not have that, and they have an auxiliary hose for gas, so this is unique to Miller's. It's pretty nice. But nice torch, feels good in the hand. Some other torch companies make some nicer torches. I'm not dogging on this torch, but I'm just saying there are some nicer ones out there. But I think it feels good, and it comes with an accessory kit when you buy this. So if you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.